basketball in our city. Championships, yeah, something kind of cool. It's the eighth year running, Terry, but it's actually been going on for a while. Uh, this is our, our eighth year with this actual tournament. It started as the HSBC Higher Hoops Tournament. Right. Eventually evolved into the Calgary Basketball Classic, but it's our eighth one. Is it true that this is more than just basketball? For us it is. We, we really feel the most unique uh, aspect of the tournament is the scholarships that are awarded for outstanding citizenship and academics among the participants. and. It's a really unique uh, feature. This year we have 38 of them since we wow. started. We've been, uh, we will have presented 270,000 worth of them uh, by the time this event's over. These kids that participate, they get a lot out of it. Some of them, some of the teams will win. Some obviously won't uh, do as well as others, but there is a lot more for these kids at stake. Uh, I think so. For the kids, it's uh, a bit of excitement starting into a season, and sure. it's the longest season in the athletic program. It, it starts in December, but it doesn't really end till March. It's a big January interruption, so yeah. I think this, for the kids, makes them realize this is uh, a big thing starting here, and it's a nice way to get it going. Why is it important for you to be involved as coordinator? I'm a retired teacher, and I've been around high school athletics ever since I started. And uh, for me, when I retired, uh, this is such a valuable program in my mind that I thought it was a perfect <laughs> way to spend some yep. of my retirement time doing some things that I have the time to do for them. Someone who's coming to watch this for the first time, what will they get out of it? Um, a I great think, basketball, I'm guessing. Yeah, there'll be good basketball all week, and we usually draw very well throughout the week because we have, we're going virtually every gym in the city at one point or another. And then in the finals on uh, on Saturday, they'll see. It's been kind of ironic the way the preseason tournament seedings have come out in the last three years. I think over the three years, that's exactly what the city final has been. So while it's not guaranteed, yeah. it's a pretty good predictor of the top teams that are going to emerge at the end as well. Who should we be watching for? The traditional rivals. I think uh, Bishop O'Byrne, Bishop Brandon, uh, Sir Winston Churchill. Mm. There's a number of teams last year that had sort of down years for them, yeah. but largely because they were carrying a lot of grade 11 players. So I expect we're going to have great competition in both I love this. Terry's retired, but he's just so right into it. You know all of these teams. This will be a lot of fun. Yeah, it certainly will. It's a great enjoyment for those of us who work behind the scenes to try and put it on. And it's uh, just a valuable part. It's become a showcase part of the high school athletic program, I believe. Calgary Basketball Classic begins on Monday, and Shaw TV will also be covering the finals for the boys and the girls. More Go Calgary coming up on Shaw.